friends myself professor khemchan surana in last session we have discussed about the introductory part of anti inflammatory agents in that we have seen the introduction of leprosy or hansen's disease then we have seen the categories of leprosy there are four categories further we have seen the transmission and symptoms of leprosy then types of leprosy and diagnostic test of leprosy so now today we will discuss about the anti leprosy drugs or anti leprotic drugs so specifically the drugs which are used for the treatment of leprosy or the drugs that interferes with proliferation of bacterium that causes leprosy is called as anti leprosy drugs so there are specifically four categories of anti leprosy drugs the first major category and important category is sulfones or sulfone derivatives so in that example dapsone is there so which is the primary anti leprotic drug second is the phenazine dye example clofazimine third one is antibiotics in that minocycline and ofloxacin so antibiotics specifically tetracycline from the te tetracycline class minocycline is example and antibacterial quinolone ofloxacin is there then last major category is anti tb drugs we have already seen the anti tb drugs in that again the anti tb drugs were used for the anti leprosy treatment so in that the rifampin and ethionamide is useful so the first drug which is used full for the treatment of leprosy is sulfone derivative for example dapsone and which is what the primary agent for treatment of leprosy dapsone is the most widely used sulfone for the long term therapy of leprosy it is what the most widely used drug for treatment of and for long term therapy of leprosy although the sulfones are highly effective against most of strains of mycobacterium a small number of micro organisms especially those found in lepromatous leprosy patients are less susceptible so uh, as we know these sulfones were highly or effectively active against the most of strains of uh, mycobacterium leprosy but uh, from the we have seen already the categories of leprosy from lepromatous leprosy so the patient who are having lepromatous type of leprosy they are having less susceptible and can persist for many years and resulting in the relapse before the introduction of current multi drug regimens resistant rats were as the high as 20% with dapsone monotherapy so the nowadays the multi drug therapy has been used for the treatment of leprosy but before that uh, high 20% with the means about the near about 20% the patient will cure with this monotherapy of dapsone so this is what the basic introductory part of the dapsone so now next we will move to the mode of action which is given over here so again the mode of action is similar like to the your sulfonamide because the sulfones are structural analogs of paba paba means para amino benzoic acid so these are what the structural analogs of paba and are competitive inhibitor of folic acid synthesis so as already we have seen the sulfonamides so these are what the inhibition these are what the inhibitors of folic acid synthesis by folic acid reductase enzyme so these are also what the competitive inhibitor of folic acid synthesis sulfones are bacteriostatic and used only in the treatment of leprosy so these are the bacteriostatic agents and useful only for the treatment of leprosy so structure is given over here Uh, sulfur double bond o double bond o benzene ring is there then at para position nh2 is there again similar benzene and nh2 is there so the iupac name of this drug is the 4 4 amino benzene sulfonyl aniline so structure is given over here you can see so dapsone is also known as diaminophenyl sulfone in short dds so the another name of dapsone is diamino diphenyl sulfone 
for uh, in short there is in short it is called DDS as an antibiotic commonly used in the combination with rifampicin and clofazimin for the treatment of leprosy so nowadays it is given in the combination with rifampicin and clofazimin so uh, already we have discussed the cell phones are uh, structural analogs of PABA means para amino benzoic acid the example of the PABA structural analog is sulfonamide we have seen so in this pictorial diagram given the structural comparison of sulfone versus sulfonamide so you can see the comparison of sulfone and sulfonamide so at the one end in sulfonamide there is NH and aryl group is there and in case of sulfone there is aniline is there so this is what the structural comparison between the sulfone and sulfonamide you can see that's why these drugs are inhibitors of folic acid synthesis as like sulfonamides so already we have seen the structure of sulfones so again the uh, some other derivatives of uh, dapson or you can call the sulfone derivatives so dapson already we have seen second drug is acidapson means acetyl group at NH2 is there means formation of amide is there uh, from amine so this is what acid apsone then solapsone sodium is there so the structure is given over here NH is substituted with SO3 Na and CH2 CH SO3 Na phenyl ring so this is what solapsone sodium so these are what the three basic derivatives of sulfones so now next is we'll move to the metabolism of sulfones the major metabolite product of dapsone results from the N acetylation in the liver by N acetyl transferase. So, the major metabolite is uh, came from the metabolic pathway that is what N acetylation in the liver by the enzyme N acetyl transferase. It also undergoes N hydroxylation to hydroxylamine derivative so hydroxylation is also will there by the and the product is hydroxylamine derivative so these metabolic reaction are catalyzed by the cyp3a4 iso form so whatever these metabolic reactions were catalyzed by cyp3a4 iso enzyme neither of these compound possesses significant leprostatic activity Although the N acetyl diamino diphenyl sulfone may be deacetylated back to dapson. So, uh, what given is here the compound which possesses significant leprostatic activity, although N acetylation diamino diphenyl sulfone may be again deacetylated to dapson, means after acetylation there will be what deacetylation is possible. So product in the urine consists of small amount of dapsone so excreted from the urine in small amount and the metabolites that is what the N acetyl diamino diphenyl sulfone and N hydroxy diamino diphenyl sulfone as well as glucuronic as well as glucuronate and sulfate of each of these substances. So these are what the different metabolites of sulfones. So here the given the metabolites of sulfone by N acetylation pathway uh, and by using N acetyl transferase, N acetyl diamino diphenyl sulfone is there and N hydroxyl diamino diphenyl is there. Further, with this N acetyl diamino diphenyl sulfone, there is what a glucuronide conjugation will be there and the glucuronide respective metabolite will form with similarly uh, sulfone conjugation sulfate metabolite is formed so this is what the schematic representation is given over here so now next part is the SAR of dapsone structural activity relationship so the first point is the several derivatives of dapsone has been prepared to increase the activity so there are many kinds of derivative has been prepared for to increase the activity of these cell phones so the isosteric replacement of second point is what the isosteric replacement of one benzene ring results in the formation of thiazole sulfone 
so you can see there is a structure of thiazole sulfone is given over here if we will replace the one benzene ring from dapsone by thiazole ring so it will give the thiazole sulfone although still active but less effective than dapsone so if we replace this benzene by thiazole ring it gives thiazole sulfone it is active but but less active as compared to main molecule dapsone substitution on aromatic uh, produces acetosulfone you can see the structure of acetosulfone given over here so reduces activity while increase water solubility and gi irritation so if we will substitute any kind of or uh, any kind of uh, substitution on the aromatic ring it will give acetosulfone and when we will substitute any kind of substituent on aromatic ring it reduces the activity while increasing water solubility and gi irritation successful substitution consists of addition of methane sulfonate to dapsone so if the successful substitution consists of addition of methane sulfonate to dapsone if we will substitute methane sulfonate to dapsone it gives sulfaxone sodium which gives sulfaxone sodium and which is the water soluble form of dapsone hydrolyzed in in vivo so these are what the four basic points of sar of dapsone and now next part is the adverse effect of dapsone which is again important so the major uh, adverse effect is phototoxicity so patient should avoid the direct sunlight exposure if the treatment with uh, this uh, sulfone is uh, taken for leprosy the patient should avoid the direct sunlight exposure it causes the phototoxicity acute hemolytic anemia especially in those with glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase efficiency means basically it is genetic defect so acute hemolytic anemia is also caused by g6pd means glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency this enzyme produces rbc from oxidizing agent dapsone is contraindicated in severely anemic person having hb near about or more than 7 so uh, next is what methemoglobinia is the what major within a few weeks of uh, therapy some patient may develop acute skin lesions so skin lesions can also produces which will describe or we can call it is sulfone syndrome or dapsone dermatitis so the some kind of skin lesions will produces by this therapy it will called as a sulfone syndrome or dapsone dermatitis some rare side effects uh, includes fever proteus paresthesia reversible uh, neurotherapy and hepatotoxicity so these are what the some adverse effect which will ask for the three marks so uh, next part or the further drugs we will discuss in the next session till that happy learning thank you